What's up YouTube? BK with BK Gaming 9000 here. Today it is Friday. You know what that means. It's the vendor reset for the division. Um, so we're going to hop right on into this, uh, get everything all situated and everything like that with all the vendors here at the base of operations as well as in the dark zone. So remember, if you do find this video helpful, please smash that like button, subscribe for more. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get right on into this. So uh, we're going to skip over some of the unuseful stuff and we're going to start off with the 9-3-R with Expert and Skilled. Uh, we have the PP-19 with Commanding, Capable, and Hurried. Um, we have the Lightweight M4 which is an Assault Rifle with Dominant, Vicious, and Destructive on it which isn't that bad honestly. Uh, probably um, reroll Dominant considering my electronics aren't that high on that. Uh, we have a Double Barreled Sawed Off uh, with Vicious and Sustained and Swift. Uh, we have the M700 Tactical with Trained, Harmful, and Elevated. Elevated is the set perk for these weapons. Uh, we have the M249B with Self-Preserved, Meticulous, and Prepared. Uh, moving on to the uh, clothing, we have the Tactical Mask with Heals 2% every second during status effect uh, with the Stamina Roll. Um, that's pretty decent there. We have the Striker's Mask over here with the Stamina Roll. Uh, we have a Final Measures Mask with the Stamina Roll as well. Moving on to the, uh, the vest, we have a firearms rolled reckless chest piece, uh, which actually isn't that bad if you are interested in that. It's got exotic damage resilience, uh, extra health, and ammo capacity. Uh, if you were to do anything, I would probably re-roll the health for like armor or something like that. Um, that will be more beneficial. Or if you, instead of firearms, you would rather re-roll the firearms to stamina, uh, whatever. Reckless is a pretty decent uh, chest piece uh, roll there. So. Moving on, we have the Spec Ops Pack, which has Relentless. 5% of the damage dealt by skill is returned as healing. Uh, this one's also rolled towards firearms. Uh, we have the Lone Star Backpack. We have the Hunter's Faith Backpack uh, rolled towards firearms. Lone Star with the Electronics Roll. Uh, the Fire Crest uh, Micro Shutter Pack um, rolled towards firearms. Um, it has plus 12,000 for skill power, though, so that's pretty decent. Uh, we have the Dead Eye Go Bag, which is rolled towards electronics. Uh, with an extra bit of armor there. Uh, we have the Spec Shops pads, uh, Accolades are tripled. Um, we have the Sentry's Call knee pads rolled towards firearms. The D3 FNC knee pads, which is rolled towards stamina. Uh, these are actually pretty decent. Um, I know a lot of people that roll this uh, gear set, by the way. Um, haven't tested it out at all, but uh, one of my buddies rolls with it. Uh, next, we have the Tactical Holster with Nimble. Um, not bad, not bad at all. I would probably reroll the pistol damage, honestly. Uh, Tactician's Authority Holster. We have the Hunter uh, Holster of the Nomad. I don't know why I said Hunter. Um, also not horrible. Uh, the Predator's Mark Holster. Uh, the Alpha Bridge Holster, which if you're looking for a holster for this, uh, this one might be the one that you want to get, uh, as well as rerolling the pistol damage for something else. Uh, like I said before, I was collecting some of these, and I might actually get this because of the fact that it might open up some different types of builds that I've been working on. Uh, Gunslinger gloves uh, with cunning, um, not bad. Reclaimer gloves, Banshee shadow gloves. Moving on to the prototype mods, we got the prototype electronics mod, uh, which is straight up skill power. We have the prototype performance mod, which has 6% first aid to ally heal. We have a high... Velocity Magazine, um, not horrible, but again, I like the Extended Magazines better. We have the Omega Rifle Suppressor, uh, we have the Hand Stop, and then we have the MK4 M5A2 Scope, which is the 15 time scope. Uh, this one you actually might want to look into. Um, they don't sell these that often, so uh, that would be something to look into. Next you have your geared caches. Let's go ahead and move on over here to the blueprints. Um, don't want to forget these at all. We're just going to go over the 250 ones. So we have the Super 90 blueprint. We have an ACR blueprint. Uh, we have the Electronics Mask blueprint. And then we have the Holster blueprint. Um, and then we have the Hollow Sight Quick Release Magazine Stamina Gear Mod. So if you want a Stamina Gear Mod blueprint for that person and way videos back, this is the Gear Mod blueprint that you want to pick up. Uh, it is power level 34, so that is definitely something to look forward to, as well as the Firearms Gear Mod. Um, and then we have the 229s and below and stuff like that. So I'm just going to scroll through those just so you can see. And uh, that is it. So I will see you upstairs.
Now that we are here at the advanced we weaponry vendor, let's go ahead and see what he's got. We're going to skip over. We have the snub nose Rhino with Expert and Sustained on it. Uh, if you have ever used this weapon, it's got horrible uh, stability, but uh, it can be kind of fun to use. We have the Navy MP5N with Competent, Vicious, and Dominant. This was my first MP5, which I actually liked it for the metal that I was in, but uh, now I probably wouldn't like that at all. We have the Military P416, which is an assault rifle with self-preserved, deadly, and commanding. This one, actually, you might want to look out for. Uh, uh, besides, you know, commanding can be very, very good um, if you can get the, the kills. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and next, we have the SA uh, SG-12, which is a shotgun with brutal, responsive, and destructive. That's actually pretty decent uh, for PvE. Um, Again, you gotta land those headshots though, um, but it can be deadly. We have the M700 Tactical with competent, talented, and elevated. Uh, the classic M60 with accurate, competent, and commanding. The quick release magazine, Osprey .45 suppressor. The small grip, as well as the MK4 M5A2 scope 15 times. Uh, I'm not sure, can't really recall if the stats are the same on this one or if they're different on the bottom one. I think the bottom one downstairs for the Phoenix credits had one more perk onto it. Uh, but go ahead and compare because you can obviously buy this one for cash and cash is easier to get than Phoenix credits. So let's go ahead and move on over to the front of the base of operations uh, where the Dark Zone vendor guy is. I did dabble in the Dark Zone a little bit this uh, last past week, uh, but I was not able to get the pack. I was kind of upset. Uh, he's selling the classic M60. Uh, with Fierce, Unforgiving, and Talented. He has the Operator's Pack again uh, with a Firearms roll this time uh, with Specialized as 200% of Firearms and Stamina to Skill Power. So it's still there. Uh, I would probably just re-roll it for, you know, instead of Firearms, I'd probably re-roll that sucker for Toughness or something like that. Um, it's still going to cost a pretty penny in the Dark Zone funds. Uh, but, you know, if I were somebody in the Special Task Force, I would sell... Um, add an ability to sell for dark zone credits um, in the dark zone like if you pick up a weapon and you extract it and it was from the dark zone you can sell it for dark zone credits that'd be kind of cool uh, he has a prototype electronics mod he has a muzzle break and then the dark zone seal cache so let's go ahead and move on over here and uh, everybody knows I like to do these vendors over here just for to see what they have with the weapons vendor I'm just gonna scroll down he's got the tactical vector 45 ACP with destructive accurate and meticulous uh, in the first wave, that probably would have been good. He's got a small laser pointer, as well as the basic sealed cache. And then for the gear mod, he has an operator pad, headshot, kills, grant credits with a stamina roll. And then down here, he's got the prototype performance mod with 6.5% ballistic shield health. Um, and then the basic sealed cache. So now I will see you guys in the dark zone. Okay, guys, we are here in DZO2. Let's go ahead and see what the gear vendor has for us today. So they got an operator mask with rehabilitated, uh, rolled towards stamina. Um, it has 4% health on kill as well as disorient resistance. Um, so actually, that's actually pretty decent. Uh, not bad right there. We had the tactical vest with rapid, decreased cooldown for healing skills by 15%. Um, rolled towards stamina as well. We had the tactical pack with relentless, 5% of damage dealt by skills returned as healing uh, with an electronics roll. Uh, we have the tactical pads with accomplished, uh, rolled towards firearms. We have the gunslinger holster with nimble, uh, heal 2% of max health for every 1 meter run to cover cover. And then we have the spec op glove with astute and electronics. So everyone knows how I feel about astute and this is an electronics roll so I would probably pass on that as well. I will see you guys in DZ03. Okay, agents, so we're here in the Dark Zone Weapons Vendor in DZ03. Let's go ahead and see what he's got for us today. So right off the bat, he's got the snub Nose Rhino again with Expert and Brutal. Uh, probably best rule for this one, but then again, with Brutal, it has to hit the headshot. And let me tell you, the stability on this thing is not that accurate. So uh, first wave Vector 45 ACP with Capable, Unforgiving, and Predatory. He has a G36 Enhanced with Talented, Fierce, and Focused. He's got the double-barreled shotgun with unforgiving, self-preserved, and fierce. The classic M44 carbine with fierce, talented, and cool-headed, as well as the M249B with adept, prepared, and meticulous. So all in all, I'd probably pass on all the DZ03 weapons, and I will see you guys in DZ04. 
Okay, agents. So now that we're here in DZ04, let's see what the gear mod vendor has for us today. He's got a prototype stamina mod with a uh, plus three percent signature skill or uh, signature ability. I'm sorry, resource gain. Uh, it's not that bad, honestly. Um, I it's the it brings up your toughness quite a bit, but uh, you know the signature ability resource gain could be kind of nice, especially for PVE. Uh, we had the prototype performance mod. Uh, with 6.5% support, support station duration. I just can't talk today. Um, so honestly, if I had to pick the, uh, one of the two, I'd probably get the prototype stamina mod because it would serve you more, especially if you're going to do it in the dark zone and you're running in a group. You kind of want to have the increased ability to get your signature skills. So uh, let's go ahead and move on over to DZ05. Okay, agents. So now that we're here in DZ05, let's see what the weapon mod vendor has for us today. You got the quick release magazine, uh, not bad there. Of course, everyone knows I like the extended magazines. Uh, the Omega Rifle Suppressor, which isn't that bad there, especially with the crit damage, crit chance, and headshot damage. This could be pretty decent if you run a um, submachine gun. Uh, you got the Vertical Grip Coyote. Um, and then we have the Pro Red Dot Sight, which the Pro Red Dot Sight is actually pretty decent. I'm going to pick it up and see how it fares with my other weapons and stuff like that so uh, again hopefully the task force can find a way to make the currency gain for the dark zone a little bit easier as I'm finding it very hard to do that so um, let's go ahead and see what's in DZ06 okay agents so we're here in DZ06 let's see what the dark zone special vendor has for us today right off the bat they got the strikers mask I'm just gonna roll through some of these uh, they got the Lone Star vest with the stamina roll. This one has a firearms roll. Uh, the fire crest pack with the firearms roll. The hunter's faith knee pads with the stamina roll. The D3 FNC holster uh, with an extra bit of armor there. And then the striker gloves uh, with the firearms roll. So if you're looking at running a striker set, this is the week to get here because they got gloves and a mask. Um, but if you don't want to give up your savage gloves, I would probably hold off. Again, the D3 FNC, I see a lot of people gravitating towards that. Um, they're having a lot of fun. I'm debating whether I want to go to Hunter's Faith or something like that. Um, but you can also get your Dark Zone Seal cash. So uh, that will do it for the vendor reset this week, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, please smash that like button, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in that next one. Peace.